Department of Labor is crediting the infrastructure bill with creating a lot of jobs. Yeah, I and, and, it. And, and you don't believe it. Nope. Is not there at anything all. good about President Biden that you do believe? Nope. No. Nothing. Not a thing. Zero. Nope. Not one thing. So uh, even if they say joblessness is down, even if they say the economy is coming back, you don't believe that? Nope. Nope. He's weak. We nope. don't need a weak leader. No, I'm just talking about his accomplishment-wise, forgetting uh, personality and what you think of him. Yeah, I don't think Joe's accomplished any good for this country. Not a bit. President Biden has not accomplished anything, said that man. Well, that couple in Fort Dodge, Iowa, interviewed by 2IT's Michael Schur, is living in their own bizarre world, and that is typical for a lot of Trump MAGA maniacs. The fact is, nonpartisan data shows that in the first 30 months of the Biden presidency, the U.S. economy added twice as many jobs as were added in the first 30 months of the Trump administration. Under President Biden, the unemployment rate has been under 4% for 20 months. That's the best stretch since the 1960s. The S&P 500 stock index just registered the best monthly gain in nearly 100 years. And the U.S. just set an all-time monthly record for crude oil production. Yes, the United States has not stopped drilling, as Biden critics, including Donald Trump, have alleged. Still, most facts are lost on the MAGA maniacs. And back to the couple in Fort Dodge. They insist that Barack Obama is actually pulling all the strings in the Biden administration and that Obama is not a Christian. He was a snake in the grass then, and he's a snake in the grass now. Um, you know, my, my initial question about that was that whatever we think of, of Obama, we're just talking about history, joblessness numbers were down. He, he created the biggest job growth. Uh, then, of course, we had the pandemic, which is not Donald Trump's fault. Jobs then began to come back up, and Biden has continued that job growth. Where, when we talk about jobs... You say Biden, Biden continued job growth? Yeah, we have... We're, I mean, no, the jo no, no, jo Biden has not given job growth at all. So how is it that folks who once voted Democratic could turn into such MAGA maniac lunatics? Well, many of them point to feeling things change 14 or 15 years ago. And when you look back, that time period actually coincides with some huge leaps in automation and high tech in the United States. The rapidly changing U.S. economy and workforce demands literally caused the ground to shift under countless communities. And while a lot of people could not quite articulate what was happening, sociologists believe that many of these folks became vulnerable to a charismatic figure who provided simple and easy to understand explanations like Trump. Immigrants are the problem. Washington, D.C. is a corrupt swamp. We need to turn America back and make America great again. Too simplistic? Well, listen again to that couple in Fort Dodge, Iowa, as they describe Donald Trump. Just everything that Trump says is going to happen. It will. He speaks his mind, and that's what we love about him. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He tells it like it is. And that's, I think, what America wants to hear. They already know it, but now they're really going to feel it because once Trump gets in, it's going to get heavy and hard and he's he's going to he's going to he's going to go to work. What's the first thing you want to see him do? Build that wall. Still build that wall. Southern, Southern border. Yep. Ah, yes. Stop those Spanish speaking people from entering the United States. Unfortunately, much of the mainstream media is also contributing to the ongoing Trump phenomenon. First, media outlets keep drawing a false equivalence between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, claiming Biden's political handicap is his age, while Trump's handicap is his criminal indictments. That's nonsense. Donald Trump is almost as old as Joe Biden, and Trump's public remarks and social media posts are becoming even more unhinged, but the media largely ignores it. Secondly, the mainstream media often suggests the ongoing dysfunction in Washington is coming from both parties. The New York Times, for example, recently had a headline saying, how do Americans feel about politics? Disgust isn't a strong enough word. What the Times failed to report is that much of the GOP no longer accepts the rule of law or the norms of democracy or the premise that governing actually requires negotiation and compromise. Focusing on government dysfunction ignores President Biden's steady hand, and it makes America more likely to fall into the neo-fascist hands of Donald Trump. And while many ordinary Republicans showing up at Trump rallies reject that term, fascism, what they are calling for and hoping for in Donald Trump is just that. Indeed, they are making it clear that in 2024, democracy will be on the chopping block. By the way, Donald Trump's former press secretary, Sarah Sanders, is having some problems as governor of Arkansas. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.